and welcome back to another video. Today here again on the Crew Mode Fest for part two of our exploring the Hawaiian island of Oahu in a convertible Jaguar E-Type. If you haven't seen part one already, that went up yesterday, so do go and check that one out first um, so that this one makes a bit more sense. In part one, we started from the main stage, made our way down to the crater, through Honolulu and sort of clockwise around the coast of the island, up here, all the way along, past the airfield at the top, most of the way round, and we finished up um, here exploring this sort of black beach off-road area. So today in part two, we're going to continue where we left off down this coast, hopefully visit a few of these islands and bits uh, along this way, before looping our way back round via the racetrack to the main stage, and then finally making our way across to go up and down this central bit, to give you an idea of what the kind of inland part of Oahu is like, as well as the coast. Okay, I haven't done many of these, but there's a photo challenge. Take a picture of a boat in front of this boat. Oh, in the afternoon, but we can do that in photo mode. Let's at least try and do one of these, because they're reasonable for credits. There we go. And it's not a great photo, but... And, conveniently, I kind of wanted to be getting into a boat anyway, because... There's another island or two to visit along this coast. I mean, there's not much to them, but they're here. They're kind of cool. One of the islands out this way was, of course, the sort of fictional Eden Island, as it was called, on Test Drive Unlimited. But in reality, there are islands out this way, I think, so... Oops. <laughs> what do you mean, not enough space? Ah. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we're in an escape. Run. Oh, we're actually doing pretty well here. Anyway, that brings us into... another little town. Where I think we did some of the... Well, you can tell by the big dragon, this is where the Japanese playlist began. Oh, that's nice. We've got a view coming back down to the coast. Which, given we've just driven alongside it, we've not really had much of. Actually, I almost forgot, whilst talking about the Japanese playlist, there's actually a sort of Japanese temple up here, which was a photo challenge that I did a little while ago with uh, Aston Vanquish. This is where a couple of the, or at least one of the, races begins. Of course there's a Supra. Is this collectible? Anyway. That's a cool little location. A little further down the coast road is the Vintage Garage start line thing, um, which is a playlist that I'm yet to do at this point. And also this little bridge onto this island that's sort of not quite an island. I suppose it sort of is. There's a kind of swampy bit there. But anyway, there's a 
there's a road that goes around this. Which should make a rather good race route, actually. Um, this is kind of a bit like Eden Island, although that was a lot smaller. And I think this is a real one. Anyway. This is a cool little road around here. I really hope there is an in-game event that goes around here. If not, if we can make our own events, like the Crew 2 introduced. That would be fantastic. Ooh, look, another wrecked boat. There's a lot of crashed boats around here. Anyway, we are around that little loop. So, if we just cross this bridge, we'll be back. This one we should definitely be able to visit. Okay, this car isn't great for this. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, so that was apparently Rabbit Island. Then this is something else island. That again we should be able to visit. But I'm not sure about that big island behind. Yeah, we can go across that one. question is, and I'm doubting it, can we make it to this one? Oh, that's further than it looks. I don't think we're actually getting any closer. Maybe we are. I would be... yeah. Okay. Oh, slalom. Traffic. Oh no, that carries on that way and I want to visit the racetrack, really. Hanuama. 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 Let me get into my race prep T-type. Unfortunately, this one is a coupe. And although it's kind of looks like a racing car, it's just as slow as the other one. Shame that. And just like that, I've put a few 600 level parts on. Most of them are blue, some of them other colours. And no ECU, because they're all 750, which is too high rated, apparently. So now it is a racing... Oh god, understeer. Anyway, this track, as you probably know, has many layouts. This is actually quite near to the main Motorfest. Um, we're nearly back round again, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have visited this if you've played. And I've done a few races and stuff around here, but... Yeah, it's kind of cool. Several different layouts. The motorsport playlist is, of course, heavily based around here. Wow, this really does understeer. Ooh, should we just try a slalom on the track? That slid. Oh no! Uh, 
Actually, we need to go on this bit out into the sea. Because this is probably the best bit. The water bridge. Oh, wow. Bullseye challenge. Okay, that's quite easy, actually. It's not that easy to do it fast, but... What a drift! Oh, and then you have to get in a... Interesting. Oh no. I missed one. I knew I'd be bad at the aeroplane bit. Yeah, I'm not sure I like these. Oh no. Never mind. <laughs> and here we are back at the car meet then, which I didn't really realise has this whole like car park and everything behind it. There is a sort of track around this area as well. Which is kind of cool, I suppose. Yeah, here we are. And that is the whole perimeter. So I reckon if we blast up one of these roads. And then back down the other one. Just to get an idea of this kind of centrally area. Because we looked at the volcano and stuff when we're this side. And we went into this mountain range a bit when we're this side. So yeah, I think blast up and down a couple of these um, to finish up with. Okay, so we're going to take this road up and then come back down on that one. There's not going to be loads here, um, but it is a long straight road. So I suppose I should fill up with fuel before we set off. So yeah, it, this gives you a good idea of the scale of the map. This is a six mile drive and essentially this road goes from south to north. So it really isn't huge, especially when you consider that test drive was one to one scale, which I know a lot of people have complained about, but personally I think it's quite a fun little sized map. There's a lot going on, it's quite densely populated, which games like Forza have suffered from having massive empty deserts, so I think it's quite a good balance. I know it's a lot smaller than the Crew 1 and 2. I know it's not a one-to-one -one replica of the island like Test Drive was. But... I think it's about right. You don't want it to take forever to get from one end to the other. I know in the Crew you can hop in a plane so it doesn't really matter, but yeah. I think it's quite enjoyable. I mean, I know I was just exploring and driving casually, but it's taken me about two hours to do that perimeter. So that takes a little while, but just top to bottom is not really that far. And it's all quite similar. This middle bit <laughs> is kind of just farmland. Which is why I thought we'd do this bit quite quickly, just to give you an idea of what this bit of the island is like, as well as the coastal bits into the sort of central town we've got here. <laughs> the backfires. <laughs> and just like that, we're basically there again. I just noticed something. Can we remove filters somehow? Anyway, let's not. But look. That, if I'm not mistaken, is the Ubisoft logo. They like to do this, put little easter eggy things in like that. There's a Ubisoft logo in the map, which I just saw when I was setting waypoints. Sometimes they put logos from other games of theirs in here. Not that I'd necessarily recognise what any of those look like, but yeah, that's cool. I love little details like that. Anyway, just over six miles again back down to Honolulu. As the sun goes down, bringing a nice little end to our exploration video, which has taken me a little while, but 
hopefully there's enough interesting landmarks and stuff in there. Oh, this is actually the route I took in our um, car versus plane video that I did with Fail. Go and check it out on both channels if you haven't already. Really testing the top speed of the E-Type in fourth gear here. Oh god, I'm completely blinded by the light. Okay, built up a nice bit of boost. So next time there's a long enough straight. Let's see if we can... 165 appears to be the top speed of a stock E-Type in the Crew 2 with boost. That is Honolulu ahead of us in the sunset, which means we've gone all the way around the perimeter of the island and Mustang uh, <laughs> up and down the middle as well. And that is going to be all for part two of our exploring the Hawaiian island of Oahu here on the Crew Mode Fest in the stunning convertible Jaguar E-Type. I think we've done quite a thorough job of it going all the way around the perimeter over the two parts and then up and down the middle of the island as well. Um, not super in-depth of any parts in particular. Um, I could go and look at things in more detail, but a good kind of overview of the different areas you can expect to find in the Crew Motor Fest, coming across some quite interesting things on our way along. That though is going to be all for today's video and for this short two-part series exploring this island, so thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with the next one very soon. Mm -hmm.